Hello guys, time for another demo project from our team available on GitHub. As usual, we take some ideas from Upwork and this time it's a simple Laravel web app to purchase digital coupons. The description is pretty short, client can add digital coupons, someone can pay with Stripe, an administrator can manage coupons, that's it. But we expanded it a bit more to some more logic, let me show you. So this is a landing page where you would see the list of the coupons, but you can log in as administrator. This is where our quick admin panel did the job. And later I will show you step by step what I've generated with quick admin panel and what code we added afterwards. For now, just demoing how it works. So administrator sees the chart of revenue by day. In my case, it was only one purchase. Administrator can manage coupons and every coupon would have multiple codes. I guess this is how it works. You add a coupon and you have a certain amount of them. So like thousand coupons or something like that. So when you're adding a coupon, let's use fake filler Chrome extension. Let's add some photo from my YouTube thumbnails. For example, we save. And I'm not sure if you noticed at the bottom, there was a field amount of coupons. So it generated 70 codes for one coupon. And in the table, it shows total codes and purchased codes. And if you want to add more, you can generate more coupons. And in total, there are 90 codes now. And in the database, you can see coupons, which are two coupons, but then there are codes with belongs to relationship to the coupon. If we scroll down, there we go. Coupon ID number two. Here, all the codes are generated uniquely for that coupon. So that's the administrator part and they see purchases and then how to purchase. If we log out, on the home screen, we see the list of coupons that I've shown you. So there's the second one. And if we click purchase, first we land on the registration page. So only registered users can purchase. If we fake fill this one, we register, then we click purchase again. And then we see the coupon details if we want to double check. And at the bottom, we have Stripe form for the payments. And not only that, you can see the clock ticking down. I've reserved that coupon for 10 minutes. It's similar what is happening in ticket purchasing systems or something like that. So I've purchased it or in fact reserved it for 10 minutes and look what is happening in the database. If we refresh the codes, some of them should be reserved. So this is the one. Reserved at is the timestamp when I reserved it and then I can purchase. And if I purchase that, purchase, then that reserved ad would be null and also purchased ad will be set. So coupon has been purchased successfully. Code of the coupon is this one. So it's revealed after the purchase. And in the database, if we refresh record 126, reserved ad is null, purchased ad is timestamp and also reserved by ID and purchased by ID is set to the user. And user can see their purchases, edit their profile, that comes from quick admin panel by default or see all the coupons or click home here. And then if we log in again as administrator, we can see the chart being updated. As you can see, the new code has been purchased. So this is how it works. Now let's take a look at the code or in fact, first, what out of that we can generate with quick admin panel to save time. So here I am in my quick admin panel dashboard. We create a new project and we will need three CRUDs. So let's name the project coupons, everything is default. And then we need to create three CRUDs. I've prepared a database schema for that. So this is how the main structure will look like. We will already have users table on the left. This comes out of quick admin panel or in fact in Laravel default. But these three we need to create. We need to create a coupon with name and price. Then we need to create the codes with belongs to relationship to the coupon. And then we need to create purchases, which is kind of a pivot table, but not exactly. Purchase by user, purchase the code and with exact price. So let's generate those three with quick admin panel. We create CRUD menu item, coupons, and we specify the name and the price. So add new field, type text, name, required, save, then price, we have the money field, price, also required, save, and we save the coupons crud. While it is being generated, on the left in the background, we can create more cruds. So, codes. Code should belong to a coupon, so immediately we add belongs to relationship 
to coupon. The system will automatically generate the relationship with underscore ID. So all we need to specify is the name and choose the model and choose the field to show in the table. It's not the relationship field, it's coupon name that would be shown in the codes table. Save, and then we need the code. So code would be text required. And then when it is reserved and when it is purchased, two fields each time. So reserved by and reserved at and purchased by and purchased at. So reserved at, for example, daytime picker, reserved at, optional, then belongs to relationship, reserved by model users, also optional, and then purchased at and purchased by, purchased at and purchased by. Belongs to relationship to the same user model, actually purchased by. So this is user model, save, and that's it. We have another CRUD. And the third CRUD, third table to manage, we will have purchases. So CRUD menu item, purchases. We add new field, which code has been purchased. So code, model codes, then who purchased. So belongs to relationship to the user. Let's call it the user name. And then we specify the price. The price is already existing in the coupons, but maybe the price for the coupon will change in the future and the actual purchase maybe has been done with a different price. So we make it required and we save and we save the CRUD. So we have the structure of three CRUDs now. It's still being generated, but it will take some seconds. And then we will add a few modules. Oh, by the way, it's generated. So modules, what modules do we need? Dashboard and reports. So let's install that. And it will allow us to create the dashboard widgets. That's what we call it. So we click dashboard widgets. We add a new dashboard widgets and it will be a bar chart from CRUD purchases, aggregating sum of price. So total price for the day, group by day or week or whatever. And we choose day created at default. And we show, for example, last 30 days. And we name it purchases by date. Also, we can choose the widget width. We save that. Then what models we need else? So module registration. So we install registration so user could register. We also have a few options, but we won't set it for now. So no approval or verification. It's installed. And third module will be one of our newest modules is user front end. We install that and it basically creates a front end design based on Laravel UI on Bootstrap, duplicating all the CRUDs from admin panel to the front end except user management. And then we'll customize that front end and remove what we don't need. So at this point, we have generated everything we need and then we will continue coding locally. Out of curiosity, we can preview the panel. So it's deploying on our server and I will show you what we have at this point. So it took a minute or so to deploy the project and now we can click continue. And this is the default homepage. But if we log in as administrator, we can see login form. We see empty dashboard and we see coupons, codes and purchases, three tables. And we will customize that, that the codes will be invisible and the coupons table will contain more possibilities to generate more codes. And if we register as a simple user, we will have a front-end design already generated, so this. So simple user will not see admin panel at all. And we will customize that menu item. What do they see? So they won't see the codes, of course, and some more customizations will be needed. So let's dive into PHP Storm and the code. So in this video, I will give an overview of what commits have been made. This is how many commits after quick admin panel by my colleague Marius. So it will be more like GitHub overview. And if you want to dive deeper into the code, the code will be available on GitHub as well. This repository is public. So first, remove the code's menu item. So by default, we generate these three menu items, but codes are not needed. They will be generated automatically. So what we did is remove the access, we have permissions for code access for menu item. If we take a look at PHP Storm, there's menu blade file and for every menu item there's can. So we're checking if we can access the codes. So in the GitHub we remove that access, but also 
just in case remove the whole menu item. So this was commit number one. And if we check that out, I will use source tree for that, discard local changes, and we refresh and there's no codes menu item. Next commit is much more interesting. Let's zoom it a bit more. So when adding the coupons in the controller, we show the codes and purchased codes. These are the relationships, has many relationships. And then in the store, if there's amount bigger than zero, then we generate random codes with the relationship again. In the store coupon request, the amount is required. Two relationships are created, those that I've mentioned. Then in translations, we have resources, lang, cruds, a few more translation values. And then in the create form, the actual field for the amount of codes to be generated. And in the index of coupon, two more columns and two more column values. So if we check that out and refresh the page, in the coupons page, we will see total codes and purchased codes. Empty by default, but let's generate a coupon without photo. And these two fields are with values now. Let's move on. Next commit, ability to generate more codes. So in the same coupons controller, Another method for generate more codes to existing coupon to this than in the coupons index. If we can coupon create, then we can add more codes and that column will be a form, form to the route of generate codes with the amount, how much more we need and also the route specifically for that. So if we check this out, ability to generate more codes and refresh the page we see this form and we can generate, for example, 10 more codes and now it's 89. Next, let's travel to more commits coupon list as a home page. So now we will be working on the home page for not logged in user. So let's log out and let's transform this to the actual home page. For this, we have controllers generated specifically for the front end with namespace controllers front end. We don't need to check the permissions here. Also changing the rules of preview thumbnail generator and we are using Spotty Media Library for that to generate the thumbnails for every coupon. And then quite a big index blade change from table that has been generated from quick admin panel. We only need card header by bootstrap and this. So for each of the coupons, we show the coupons with the thumbnail and the route to front end coupons show to actual details of the coupon. Then we don't need the JavaScript for data tables. We rename dashboard to home. In the menu, we show the correct menu item. And in the routes, instead of showing welcome, we immediately redirect to coupons from home page and we assign that to the public. So some routing changes. And at this point, if we double click on that and check that out and we refresh the home page we should be redirected to coupons as you can see and by the way if we don't have thumbnails this is automatically shown the thumbnail with dimensions next on github we have purchase code form and this will be quite a big commit on how to add purchase form stripe purchase form for one time payment and i won't really comment that because i have a special article for that recently published on Quick Admin Panel blog, how to add Stripe one-time payment form to any Laravel project. So I will link that in the video below. And also quite recently, we made another demo project with pretty similar one-time payment form by Stripe. So I will also link that in the description. You can check that out. But basically, if we check that out, we need to run Composer update because we're using Laravel Cashier now and also migrations are present. So I will do that now in the background. Composer install, downgrading something, installing something, and then PHP Artisan migrate. Sorry, I forgot to zoom in the terminal. I hope you can see that. It's just Composer install and Artisan migrate. And now if we refresh that page, we can click purchase, register, click register, purchase again. And now we can see that form powered by Stripe. And a few more commits left. Coupon code reservation. This is an interesting one. It wasn't in the official description of Upwork task, but I think it would be interesting to reserve the coupon. So in the codes controller, we will use carbon and in the purchase. So after the purchase, 
So after filling the credit card details, we are checking if the reservation is valid. And if not, we redirect back that sorry you didn't purchase on time. And then in the coupons controller, we load only the coupons that have available codes. And in a minute, I will show you that available for user scope. In the show of the coupon, we also check if there is available code. And then we set the timer seconds with carbon operation. In the code, here's the scope. So to the query of the coupon, we add it's not purchased. And when it is logged in user, it is reserved by that user. Or it's not reserved yet. Then we have the reserved code attribute changed this condition to available for user. That's why we add a scope because it's repeating in two places. So it makes sense to have one condition in the scope of Eloquent. And in the show, we're showing the timer of seconds with some JavaScript that is counting down the time. And let's check that out. Coupon code reservation. And if we refresh that page again for the coupon, we should see the timer. Yep, time to buy, 6.45, 6.43, and a few more commits to go. Cleaned up front-end pages, so it's basically clean up and refactoring what we need from the front-end or reusing the same scope, for example, and we don't need create. So basically deleting everything that we don't need from Quick Admin Panel as default, because we don't need full CRUDs on the front-end. So a lot of small changes, I won't even stop here. And final commit is release reservation command. So what if someone doesn't purchase the code and 10 minutes pass, we probably should release that. So the idea is that every minute in app HTTP kernel, there will be a scheduled command every minute reservations release. And that reservation release is an artisan command. You can launch it manually like this, or it will be scheduled every minute. And we just update the coupons that are not purchased, but reserved at already passed. We update that reserved at and reserved by ID is null. And we can inform the user how many coupons have been released. And that's it. That's the whole demo project. It will be available on GitHub for free, as I mentioned. If you have any questions, shoot in the comments below and let's discuss. Maybe I will explain something in a more deeper way. And also, if you want to save time on generating some code, at least for the structure for your database, Quick Admin Panel is the way to go. In fact, with every demo project, I'm constantly thinking whether we should rename the project. It's not Quick Admin Panel anymore. It's more like for structure of the database. An admin panel then is a part of it, but it's more like Quick Database Structure with Admin Panel on top. So we'll see where we go in 2020 and 2021 with this project. Maybe we will rename, but for now, you can purchase it as it is. And I will remind you in the pricing of Quick Admin Panel, if you go for yearly plan, let's open the pricing. If we scroll down to pricing in the yearly plan, what's included is free Laravel daily courses. So I have 12 courses on my Teachable account. And if you purchase yearly plan, you will receive 100% discount code for all of them including Laravel Livewire, including my most popular course about Eloquent, and some older courses about data tables, invoices, and Excel export import. So if you want to get all of those, you can purchase Quick Admin Panel for 99 and get more than $200 worth of courses included in that price. That's it for this video, and see you guys in other videos.